Welcome back to Black Tide TV. Before we get started on this Elite vs. Elite, I'd just like to thank everybody that came out to my very first live stream. It was very unexpected. I didn't even expect that I would be doing a, a live stream tonight. I was actually just kind of toying around with it and trying to figure out how it all worked when all of a sudden the live stream went li went live and uh, and I already and I had a person viewing within like seconds. So it was just like, oh, well, I might as well just might I might as well just try making a live stream. You know, jump jump uh, jump in with both your feet. Uh, so I did that, and it was a pretty act it was actually a pretty good live stream. I did have some technical difficulties towards the end. Uh, my capture card started having some kind of seizure or something, and it wasn't doing something with the bit rate wasn't high enough, and it was it couldn't process 30 frames per second and a bunch of crazy random shit. But we'll work it out for next time. And uh, to the guys that actually watched that stream, that very special blunderbuss, if you did miss that part, uh, we'll be making a, f a video f completely just about that. So you guys that uh, did stick with me through that whole stream just to see it and then didn't get to see it, uh, well, you'll get to see it in the future. We're, we're going to do a whole video on it and we're going to talk about it uh, in depth. So that's just a little bit of an announcement before we start this new Elite vs. Elite. Uh, if you were with me in the live stream, you would know that this Elite vs. Elite is going to be on the TAC-19. Of course, you would have figured that out because you've been watching TAC-19 gameplay the entire time I've been running my mouth. So, in this game, uh, you're, you're seeing the Bang Stick on Chop Shop and the Sledgehammer on Parliament. This is another Elite vs. Elite, and uh, obviously, we're going to jump right into this. So, on screen now, you're seeing the uh, stats, the stat chart for the Bang Stick. The Bang Stick is gives you plus one fire rate, plus one handling, plus one mobility, minus one accuracy, and minus two range. So right away you're going to notice minus two range. End of end of discussion. That is terrible, terrible, terrible downside when you're using a shotgun, especially a pump shotgun. And uh, you're going to notice that some of my gameplay isn't up to par uh, with my regular Elite versus Elite, and that's because I actually didn't do too well with these weapons. Usually I'm very good with the sledgehammer, which we're, we're going to talk about in a second, but uh, I didn't do very good on either of these gameplays. But I was just really in a hurry when I was making these, when I was getting this gameplay. I was doing a whole bunch of the Elite vs. Elite gameplays all in a row. So I just wanted to get through it and get to the next one. And there was some pretty decent usable gameplay. Uh, the game mode that I'm playing, if you haven't figured it out, in both of these in both of these instances is grapple hard point. So do what you will with that. But let's go on to the sledgehammer. Uh, the uh, one sec before we get in the sledgehammer, the bang stick. Uh, it's got minus two range, and that's just like a huge, huge downside right away. Uh, there's nothing that you can really say about the weapon other than that that minus two range. Nothing can can uh, alter or balance the weapon back out once it loses two range like even damage itself will not balance this weapon back out the bang stick is not good at all i hate to say it but it's just not a good variant just right away you're losing range on a shotgun you shouldn't be using that shotgun the sledgehammer now you're seeing its stats on the screen you've got plus two accuracy plus one magazine size minus one handling and minus two mobility the minus one handling, minus two mobility, not a big deal. That's your hip fire and your aim down sights time. You can you can conquer that aim down sights time with uh, a quick draw grip. And the hip fire, you don't really need to worry about because with a pump action shotgun, you're going to be at such a close range that you're still going to hip fire and still get most of your pellets into them and get the kill. So it doesn't really matter uh, when you get to your handling. The plus one shot I do like a lot because that can pretty much give you one extra kill before you have to reload. And reloading this gun is not fun. It is very, very slow to reload. You have to reload one shell at a time and an extra an extra bullet in the mag is definitely going to uh, it's it's gonna help you a lot. You're gonna you're gonna get a lot more kills, you're gonna get a lot uh, a lot more action out of this gun before you have to find a corner and hide. Even if you're a guy that likes to shoot like two and then reload just to make sure that you're always topped up. This weapon, even if you do shoot only a couple, you're still going to have lots in the reserve just in case when you're finding that spot to reload, uh, someone sneaks up on you. So, uh, what what are these? What is the final verdict on these two weapons? Obviously, the sledgehammer is going to take the edge here, 
It's got the it's got the plus one magazine size. The plus two accuracy is pretty much useless. I'm not, I'm just gonna put that out there. Uh, it's an it's a shotgun. It's not meant for accuracy. It's meant for like high damage, high uh, low range. Like it's it's meant to be a shotgun. Uh, you know what a shotgun does. I mean, if you didn't know what a shotgun did, you wouldn't be watching this video. Uh, it's meant to be close range, high damage, and plus two accuracy isn't going to affect this weapon at all. However, the the negative sides aren't that bad. You can really work with the negative sides on this shotgun. However, with the bang stick, uh, you've got minus one accuracy, minus two range. You can't work with that. You cannot. It just does not happen. Uh, the minus two range, you like the accuracy, no big deal. Minus one, minus two range is a, just the end of this weapon. Even plus one fire rate, plus one handling, plus one mobility. All that stuff is useless when you have minus two range. So don't even worry about using the bang stick. Just delete that shit the second you get it because it's not good at all. But if you do have the sledgehammer, I do uh, recommend you use it. I use it a lot. Um, uh, but you guys might have a, an opinion of your own. Let me know in the comment section down below. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it. And stay tuned for more Black Dead TV. Oh, one more thing before I go. The camo. I like the camo and the sledgehammer a lot more. It's kind of like dark brownish color, whereas the bang stick is kind of just like plain, like white, and uh, just looks nice on the sledgehammer. Thanks for watching. See you later.